Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to iRacing. Uh, going to show you something a little bit different. Um, we're at Texas uh, this weekend, so I already went ahead and purchased Texas. And also, we're going to be driving the uh, Camaro Class B car. Um, that's why I decided to make a quick video, even though it's going to be in a practice, uh, just so we can get acquainted with the car. We've only driven a Chevy SS, uh, you know, some other variable different vehicles, but, um, this car is supposed to be a lot more stable than the, uh, gen six, uh, and it's less horsepower, obviously. So I'm excited. First time I've ever been to Texas in this game, even though I've had wins in NASCAR 14 at this track, I love this track. Uh, never played it in iRacing, so it's a first for all of us. We don't even know what uh, steering ratio we're going with or anything, and let's just have a look and see what it's set at by default. It's a 12 to 1, so we'll just keep it there for now, kind of like I would uh, normally. So let's just get out here and uh, see what we can do. All right, so we're sitting here in the Camaro, and uh, first things first, I can notice it's kind of like a Chevy interior. Um, the uh, placement. Well, I like the uh, view a lot better off the nose. Uh, let's fire it up. It's got a good sound to it. Let's just go ahead and put it in first. And we'll see how it, she feels out on the actual track. Man, Texas looks awesome, though. It looks really cool, in fact. So yeah, this is recording at exactly six, exactly, <laughs> exactly 60 frames per second. So that's awesome. You guys now on YouTube get to um, experience 60 frames per second. And I will always record in it whenever it's a possibility. You know, obviously uh, GTA 4 is never going to be that way. Ooh, okay. A little squirrely there. Okay. Let's try to get a feel for this. This uh, track is similar to Charlotte. So I'm excited to figure out where the braking zones are. Man, the car feels great. Really nice indeed. Okay, yeah, you can overdrive it coming off of the corner. Lock it up, lock it up. Hang on, hang on. Ooh, there we go. Just not too much damage. We saved it. We definitely saved the car there. I don't know how, but we did. My paint's not working. Uh, the paint I'll be running, uh, for some reason, trading paints hasn't loaded it on here, but it is the uh, 32 of uh, Kyle Larson's Cessna uh, Camaro, which looks badass. So I'm a, I'm a fan of uh, Kyle Larson. So I was like, I think that's who I want to have in my nationwide series. So you can easily overdrive it off the corner by giving it too much gas. So you do have to dance with that a little bit. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, saved it. <laughs> but man, the car is stable. So we just got to find out where the, uh, where the different points of where you get back in the gas and stuff are, man, cause you can drive the shit out of it. You see just small little problem there. That was terrible driving. I don't know what I was doing. Matthew, I don't know if it'll run at all, man. If you can try to get over here, you can. Here's that wreck. See, we get down here low. Just car steps out on us, hit the apron, and then bam, hard into that wall. A little bit of damage there on the nose, too. So, but look at that. St you saw that step out before. I mean, watch this coming off the. When this coming off the corner was insane. We got really sideways here. Look at this. Squ but we were good then. All right, we're across the new car and let's get out there and try to see if we can figure this track out. All righty. So yeah, I've been talking to uh, Bugs and what he wants to do with iRacing and we're kind of, we have similar tastes in what we want to do. Um, the uh, We're going to drive the nationwide cars as well as the truck series. I don't think we're going to race in the uh, other one. We just want, we want to have more options to us. I'm not sure what the actual uh, idea is in the end, but that is kind of what we would like to do. So let's, let's go easy here on this turn. Kind of feel the car out a little bit better there. It's just, it's squirrely, man. It's squirrely as fuck right there. Why? 
Give us more gas. Come back through here. I think we need to start breaking into these turns a little bit. Help the car stabilize. There we go. Drive it down in here. Man, I think it's just loose as shit coming off of there. So maybe we need to tighten the car up with a different ratio, steering ratio. That might help us out a lot. I'm not sure, but man, I, I just keep wanting to overdrive it coming through those turns, and that's insane. But like I said, you know, it's a different animal. It's a different car and a different track. I've never raced here before. And it's nothing like NASCAR 14. I can tell you that right now. Just look at this. Hang on to it. Oh, my God. It just it's so loose. So loose. Maybe I'm not slowing down enough in the turns. But it seems like it's awfully slow. But who's to say? There we go. It's a little bit better. Coming here through the dog leg up off the corner. We don't want to be too high on the corner, though. Because then we will actually slow down through the turn. All right. Get up on the wall. Man. It just seems like you're playing with fire the whole time on these green tires. We want to get a few laps in. Maybe that'll help the car snug up a little bit to the line. It just doesn't seem to be wanting to do that too much. It's like I have to really take it, take care of it through the turns. Let's see how it feels here. I just barely edge the out throttle back in. It just, it feels like the car wants to spin out on me constantly is what it's feeling like, which is a loose condition. And it could be the uh, steering ratio. I just don't like. Oh, hang on to it. Okay. We're going into the pits. Hang on to it. And we're fine there. Yep. Stop and go. Speeding in the pits. That's fine with me. All right. They gave us four tires too. So then that'll... We did flat spot them coming through the pits there. We need to figure this car out. There's got to be something going on. Very weird with it. Could be my steering degrees of rotation is too much. I need to double check that in the Logitech profile. Make sure it's set at 900 degrees of rotation instead of what I had it set up for F1, which was 330 because this is a lot of wheel input seems. I don't know if the car is supposed to be like that or not, but we will find out. I mean, I'm just not good at driving it yet. Seems to be okay. It's just, it's, it's way different than the gen six. I can tell you that right now. It's just, it's, it's a lot different. And I'm just easing that throttle on and off, as you can see, just kind of playing with it, trying to get a decent lap on the car. Ooh, that's not feeling good at all. I don't know what I did there, but it was bad. Uh, let's try a high line in this turn. Just stay on the top. Maybe Texas uh, requires you to be on the top more than the bottom. I can't remember in the nationwide how they run it here, but that's a possibility that the grips up higher on the track. So we shall find out right about now. You really get that speed off the top. Yeah, see, the car doesn't want to step out on me when I'm up on the high line like that. So the bottom line is just loose. That's all there is to it. There's the wall. We knew we were going to find it eventually. Uh, maybe we should try a different steering ratio. I'm not really sure. But we ran a 32. Man, that's just terrible, it seems. Sounds like a... Just sounds like a bad lap time. All right. I'm going to have to check this out, see what's going on. Make sure my s degrees of rotation are correct and all that. But it, it, it just seems like it's the, the bottom of the track is just squirrely and loose, but the high side is a lot better, actually. 
as you can see there man it looks like we we're going a lot faster than we were <laughs> let's back it up let's watch that last uh, lap where we actually did pretty decent on the high line as you can see the car just kind of tightens up right on the top it finds the grip and it's not on the on the bottom it just it seemed like it was out of control almost let's try a different camera view too oh wait, that's where we hit the wall of course Oh, I love the sounds in iRacing. Man, it sounds so good. So, yeah, we got a lot of, a lot of work and a lot of, um, a lot of practice ahead of us to try to find out, you know, what works with this car and what doesn't. But, man, I, oh, and awesome. Those, uh, those backfiring effects are amazing. All right, I'm going to check this out real fast. I'll be right back. All right, here in the garage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a different steering ratio. Now, I believe if we go higher up, we will actually cause the car to tighten up. So let's try a 14 to 1. And hit done. And let's go try that out. I did. I double-checked everything in the Logitech profiler, and it's 900 degrees of rotation, and centering springs off, and everything's good to go there. Uh, I just think it honestly is the bottom of the track that is slick and it's a midum it's a middle to high line here at Texas that's probably what it is and I haven't watched enough uh, nationwide racing to see if that is the case but it just personally feels that way with the car the way it's been behaving so, oh that's not good hang on to it middle 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 hang on oh easy brakes are gonna make it worse and just hold the brakes down right here. Let it flip around. We're good. We're good. Man, oh man, you just really, really can't fuck around on the bottom line there. It does not like it at all. All righty, let's try this again. A little higher line, perhaps that's the way. And you can see how the car just starts hopping around up here on the top. And that just seems to be where it's finding the grip. So let's see if that's the case. So we find the grip on the top of the track, which we are kind of finding right there a little bit. Man, car's loose right there. Whoo-wee. So yeah, we got a lot of work ahead of us to try to figure out this track and how to be, you know, successful at it. Now, I'm in an open practice session. I was hoping I was going to see other people, but have not seen anybody. Very weird. Okay, stay on this line here. And you know what I do? I actually go out on YouTube and watch others drive this track and try to figure out where their line is, um, where to find speed. Because if I'm doing something wrong, you know, I got to go look and see how everybody else is doing it. We did a little bit better on that one. That was a 31 instead of a 32. Oh, wall. This is what I don't like about high lines is that you, you're constantly up next to that wall. So, yeah, I don't know. But really like the car. I mean, it feels cool. It's just it, it might be this track. So maybe we need to test at a track that we know. See if that helps. There she goes. She steps out on you. Hang on to it in the middle. Drive it away. Drive it away. Drive it away. Ooh, right into my pits. <laughs> well, that's an interesting one. I'd like to see the video. Unsafe pit right entrance. The there you have it. We well, guys. make a stop and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make a stop and go. We'll see what happened there. Just lost it completely in the dog leg. That's all there was to that one. And boom. So, guys, yeah. If you uh, if you enjoy it, hit the like button. We'll uh, keep doing uh, keep doing i racing. I know everybody's been seeming. Uh, it seems like they've been enjoying i racing. So uh, I know I have. And if you have any uh, tips and tricks on this track, you know, leave a comment below and let me know what I'm doing wrong here, especially in this car. I think it's just you know being in a car I've never been in and racing at a track I've never been at. Uh, but I thought I would give you a first look on what the uh, Camaro B car is like. So that's going to do it for this one. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.